what can I do to help my son? So he went to work fighting for his son and thousands of others with disabilities. Good evening, I'm Jen Lask. And I'm Mark Maxwell. After we told you last week how long thousands of people with disabilities have to wait to get the services they need from the state of Illinois, one dad heard our story and reached out to tell his, a story of desperation, determination, and duty. It's not something that I wanted to do, but it's something like I had to do. Because uh, in Illinois, either you, you stay and, and fight for, for services or, or you leave. So I decided to stay and try to fight for services. Mike Baker got tired of waiting on the state to help his son, Brian. It's been tough. He was on the Illinois puns list for over six years. Brian's autism demands a lot of time and attention from his parents, so they applied for assistance from the Department of Human Services when he was 12. 18, 19, when he was about ready to age out, that's when he got selected. Today, nearly 18,000 people in Illinois, like Brian, sit on that list, waiting for someone to help them. One of the other things about Illinois is trying to find a respite care worker. They only get paid $10 an hour. So there's not too many people that want to do the work. A recent report found Illinois pays the average direct support professional $12.43 an hour. 54.5% of them leave that job in the first year, an alarming turnover rate nearly 12% higher than the national average. There's a number of people like him out there that when they turn 22 are going to need day programs, which right now is in short supply. Baker's advocacy delivered results for them, too. His support helping pass six bills into law and winning recognition from Autism Speaks until his own health started to fade. Um, I noticed my hand was shaking, so I went to, get to a neurologist back in the, the summer of 2017. Doctors gave him the diagnosis. I have Parkinson's stage 2, so at some point in my lifetime I'm not going to be able to do the things I'm used to do. Things like playing catch in the backyard, taking Brian to a hockey game, or fighting for his son's right to do all those things for as long as he can. I want to make sure that I give 100% to my son, that when, he, when, when I'm not able to do it anymore, he knows I put uh, everything I had into trying to get to develop a future for him. Now Baker's calling on lawmakers to pass a new measure that would require the state to speed up the wait times for people with disabilities to get those services. He told me his work fighting for his son helps keep him busy and helps him keep his Parkinson's at bay.